Hey guys, it's Sandra from Inspired Keys, and in today's video, you're going to watch me help Inspired Keys Academy member David play What a Beautiful Name better. Stay tuned because you're going to learn piano accompaniment tips and song learning tips, an instrumental version of how I will play What a Beautiful Name, and more. Enjoy the video! Hey guys, today I've got David with me in our Inspired Keys Academy member call and I am very, very excited to have David. Hello, David. Hi, Sandra. Good to meet you at last. <laughs> at last. And David's been an amazing encourager in our uh, Inspired Keys Academy Facebook group. He has just been such a key uh, cheerleader, not just for like myself, but for a ton of other um, Academy members. And he's just cheering other people on. Uh, he recently shared his practice plan, and that's just uh, inspiring a ton of other Academy members. So thank you so much, David, for all that you do. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. I'm learning. Yay. I'm learning a lot. That's amazing. So uh, let's get started. Do you have any questions on worship keys at the moment? No, you know, one thing I'm I'm trying to to understand is your uh, uh, your chord structure, like the the, the one four and and five and yeah. you know the yeah. six, just those things. Yeah. Because I never really learned those, yep. Uh, so I'm trying to get a hold of that. It's coming, but I'm not very clear yet. Yep. Let's just pretend everything's in the key of C major. So, right, something like that. Um, okay. Now, if I were to do, and I add a two in there, um, is that something that's sort of um, something you you might not really understand? And did you want me to explain? No, it I understand that. Cool. The two. Cool. Mm -hmm. The two is this the D. Yep. Yes, I, I understand that. Cool. But what is it that you don't understand then? Well, you know, in, in terms of, you know, I know the, the one, the four, and the, the, the six, and the eight. Yep. But then how how to kind of play that in a worship style, I guess, is, right. is my my question. Is You know, because I've tried and, and uh, I just can't get it there yet. Cool. Would you be able to play, uh, maybe let's just do one song. Show me what you are currently doing, and then maybe I could give some feedback on how else you can do it better. Okay. Yeah. Here's one thing I'm trying to learn, and it's, you know, mine. Mm -hmm. Can you still hear me? I can. Okay. Let's try, uh, what a beautiful name. Sounds great. Okay. Can you hear my piano? I Keyboard? Can. All good, very nice. Nice and clear. I'm working on, mm -hmm. and I, I guess I'm going to go the rest of it. Let's see here. We'll start at, uh, uh, you didn't want uh, heaven without us. Sounds good. Thank you. 
some notes down <laughs> because I know my, right. my memory is not great so I'm probably gonna forget so I've got them captured so um hey there are a lot of advanced things that you do do you know that um did you realize that your right hand is actually doing a whole lot of harmony so you're doing right so your right hand itself is supplying a ton of chords already so Right? That's what you're doing, right? Yes. That's amazing. So you you actually come with a lot of experience that way. So that's that's really good. A lot of people can't already do that. Um, currently, I'm not sure. I think it's like a just a video conference situation. When you play on the piano, the sound I hear is this really muffled kind of unclear sound. I can make out what you do, you, what you're playing. I wish it was a clearer sound. Uh, are you using piano only or piano and pad or something? It's on here. It's warm pad and piano. Ah, there we go. I think it's probably the warm pad sound that's making the sound just altogether really kind of mushy, thick, yeah, and, and mushy. Uh, as a result, from my end, at, at least in this call, it's just not very clear. Um, yeah, is that just piano? That's just uh, warm piano. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe going forward, if you could just use a piano sound, that would be probably clear. Yeah. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Thank you. Um, now, I I wonder if you could try this, because right now I feel like your left hand is playing a lot of the same rhythms as your right hand. What if your left hand just plays the steady beat? So something like... Okay, so that's like steady beat. Oh. Yeah, so my left hand strictly just playing one, two, wow, what a three, difference. four, and then my right hand supplying the, the rhythm, so that way you don't have both layers playing the same kind of rhythm. Yeah, would you like to try yes. it? Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Yep. Yeah, do you want to give that a try?
understand what you I'm doing too much with my left and it's harmonizing with my right. And um, I should not be doing that. Now the harmonizing is fine. Um, it's more the issue of your left hand's kind of playing it at the same time as your right hand. So as That's my right hand. Yeah, so we're okay. only really hearing a sense of the pulse. And in fact, yes. um, I'm probably going to have to be a bit of a no sugar here. And that is, uh, sometimes I notice that your rhythms are just not very accurate. So if when you play, you really got to be like strictly as accurate as possible. So da da Yes, I know. Da, yep. da, so it's it's really got to be that accurate um, so sometimes I notice some of your notes kind of stretch out a little bit so like like sometimes yes be... yes and it's like yep. it stretches for a bit of time and then maybe it's yeah, so it's not accurate enough. So if I were to just make you play with a metronome, um, that's where you might lag behind. And I think you need to practice with like, uh, you know, a really set kind of like something to keep you going forward and not to drag out. Yeah, yes, I have doing? one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's something to, to work on so that you could really keep going. Don't like take a bit of time to think here and there because that stretches out the time. Then that makes the song just slightly that much more uh, inaccurate. Yes, you're right. Okay. Yes. Um, yep. And, I know that's a problem of mine, yes. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. but of course, is this a song that you are familiar with? Yeah, we, we, we do it in our church all the time. Cool. Well, not all the time, but a little. And often we do. Yes. Okay. So yes, but I still have to. You know, I'm concentrating on the on the music so much that I'm forgetting the words. So I have to. You know what? I have to. I confess, I'm really bad with words as well. Like, um, I could go tell you all about the song's chords and melody, but I'm like, I'm still singing words wrong all the time, David. So. Yes. Yeah, you're not. So. Alone. Yeah. So I do need to improve that as well. Yeah. Now, there's another thing I was going to ask you. Um, do you guys play in your church the right hand melody or do you play whole, like both hands, just chords? Because if your congregation singing, then you probably would just need to have both hands playing chords like... So my right hand's just playing chords. So that's like both hands playing chords. So what do yes. you guys usually do? Well, our, our keyboardist, he plays with both hands. Uh, he's pretty good. Yep. Uh, so he, he, you know, he's he, he's pretty full on keyboard. Yep. Uh, I, I, he uses both hands and 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 can can really. He's pretty good. So, uh, so yeah, I, he, he uses both hands. Cool. Well, how, what about you? <laughs> You know what, Sandra? I tried Sunday be before church when people were coming in to get on the keyboard and just kind of play and set the atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but when I got on the piano, I recognized that the key bed was much harder to push. Right. And so I said, uh oh, this is a little different than my piano at home. So, you know, I went through it, I did some things, but Honestly, I was concentrating on my message more than the than the music, you know. So, well, that's because I you are say, the pastor, right? You're the one giving yes. the sermon. Well, that's for good yeah. reason. You should focus on the message. But good on you yeah. for doing so many things. So yeah, I did sit down for the first time because I said Sandra told me to do this. <laughs> so I I did sit down and and play a little bit as people came in just to kind of set the atmosphere. Cool. I kind of messed up. Kind of messed up with some things. I think it was more nerves than anything. Yeah. And and so I'm gonna try it again. Yeah. And uh and and see how that so I can I'm gonna go off to church and practice on that keyboard. Yeah. Because the action is much stiffer yeah. than mine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So um, that that so I, that piano in church probably sounds like a uh, acoustic piano. Yeah, it's a it's a rolling. Yep. Uh, oh right. Okay. Seven hundred. Right. Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah. So sometimes it's just really harder and the action's heavier and you might just need to steal a little bit more time to practice um, or maybe just play a little bit less, like just 
play chord, chord, and yes. as minimally as you can. Um, the one you have right here looks like a Yamaha? No, it's a Roland. It's a Roland cool. Phantom, uh, Phantom X8. Nice. And is okay. the touch quite soft? You can set it. Uh, I noticed you can set it from from soft to medium to hard. Right. So I just started. I just started Monday putting on the hard setting, and it's much different. Right. Yeah. I think the hard setting it's more inconvenient. You've got to use more energy, but you also build more muscle strength. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you know what? I hear this all the time. Um, I teach piano in this room and uh, the students come to my house and then they go like, hey, I play way better at home. So David, it's like a worldwide phenomenon. People have this problem all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you know, you could just, just push on with it and I think that's going to solve and settle itself. Um, yeah, now I was wondering if you want to uh, try and play perhaps the same song, but with both hands playing chords. So assuming someone is singing, so there someone is taking care of the melody line, and you just play chords, chords, chords only. Have you tried that before? No. Uh, but it's me. but do you ever have to play in your church worship service, or are you usually the one to play the, you know, the instrumental music for people to come into? Is that what you usually do? No, I don't. I don't usually do any playing at all. But I decided to try that Monday. I mean, this play. I'm sorry, this past Sunday. Wow. Uh, wow. Usually, I'm just caught up in trying to think what I'm going to say oh in my, my message and all those things and wow. and greeting people and greeting people and all that. You know, wow. so wow. my wow. mind is probably far away from music on Sundays. <laughs> you know? And I leave that. I leave that up to the other guys to do that. That's amazing. Now, then, tell me what are you working towards in your music? So my job is to make sure that I help you attain what you want to do. So if it is serving um, like what you currently do, which is, you know, a little bit of music at the start, um, then I want to teach you in that style. But if you are um, accompanying people who are singing, then I want to help you in that style. So what style do you usually, do you think it's more suitable for you to learn? You know, I'm, I'm Kind of a person that likes to to just play and just I don't necessarily have to have a singer, yep. you know, or a group behind me. I just like to play. Cool. And cool. Uh, I like the worship, and you know, I'm just happy happy with that. Cool. I mean, uh, I'm not pressing this to to play with our group at church. Yep. Uh, yeah. I present that can present some other issues, you know, but yeah. uh, <laughs> so I'm just the kind of a guy that wants to be able to take advantage of. Of those quiet times, uh, perhaps as you mentioned, uh, when we have our prayer services, our healing services, yeah. Uh, yeah. to be able to do some things. Cool. Uh, okay, so that means the, the style that you probably would rather learn would be an instrumental version, like what you were playing. Like, for example, oops, just up the volume. rather learn how to play that, right? Yes. Yeah, so like just instrumental on the right uh, right hand playing the melody line, left hand playing the, the chords, yep. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Okay, so um, then I'm pretty keen on having you try this. Now, you don't have to be able to do it in this class because I think this is, you know, really a tall order for anyone to just kind of apply something and go, I can do it. Uh, but see if you could, uh, after this session, just pull out, a recording of uh, What a Beautiful Name and jam okay. with the recording. So that way you have something to push you forward and making sure that your melody is strictly on time, your chords are on time. Do you think that's going to help? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I've, I've, I've tried that a little bit with, uh, with the, uh, the, the, uh, the song yep. playing as they sang it. Yep. It's hard. Yeah. It's because you got to stay on, and it's it's just hard, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> so. it's hard, but it's quite necessary because you know that's just the way that the moment momentum of the song. You can't really stop yes. it whenever. Um, same like a sermon. I guess you must be an expert in giving sermons. You really have to follow a certain yeah. momentum. You can't really like you know sit and dwell on this topic for uh, five minutes unnecessarily. But yeah, true. It's, cool. Yep. Cool. So that's my heart. You know, yeah. that is my heart. But, but also the other part of it, uh, 
Sandra, is you know I, w- I want to move, and I've I've, I've asked our, our pianists, our keyboarders to to look you up and you know and join. Thanks. So I'm just kind of thank gently you. pushing him in that direction. Oh my gosh, thank you. But are you so, sure? Maybe maybe he is way more expert than I am. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but <laughs> but I'm trying to I'm trying to stretch the group. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to I shouldn't say yeah push them into to using more of what's available yeah. to worshipers yeah. to yeah. really really yeah. minister to the hearts of people. Yeah. Because I think we're kind of yeah. stuck in. Yeah some things a years ago and the technology has moved on and it's helping us. Yep. So I'm trying to move them into main stage as well. And yeah. some other form. so, so this helping me so I can explain it to them as well. That's amazing. Like lots of people, especially with talking pastors, they want that, but they won't join and try it out themselves. But look at you, you've joined, you're practicing and you are really leading the way and showing them the way forward. So kudos to you for doing so much, yep. David. I don't know a single pastor. I've been to so many churches. I don't know a single pastor who does what you do. So my gosh, <laughs> hats off to you. Um, so so how do you feel about your church um, in terms of like when it comes to playing a song? How how far do you guys push spiritually? Oh, we'll push it all the way. Yeah? So you guys kind of like go all out into like um, unplanned moments. You can just do the chorus oh, yes. 10 times, bridge I'm- 10 times, you know? I've given them the freedom to do that. Uh, you know, you know, a lot of people may be uncomfortable with that. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. We're we're being guided by the Holy Spirit, and awesome. no, I've given them the freedom. I've told them that. That's awesome. But, yes. <laughs> yes. Cool. Cool. So. Wow. Yep. Okay. So, t- um, would you maybe just uh, do you have any other questions on worship keys? No, I'm, I, you've you've given really. I have a lot on on my plate with given me. Mm-hmm. All of the the tools that you've given me, cool. it's just it's picking and choosing which is going to help me at yeah. a particular time. Yeah, it's so right. much, you that's know. Right. So no, you you've given me. There's so much to eat on that you presented. Them. My you, gosh, you know. thank you. I really hope that that was uh, that will help you as you digest them through the year. And yeah, if anything, I think the biggest takeaway is David. I want you to as your homework. Okay, uh, pull out the recording. It could be the Hillsong one. It could be well. There are tons of versions online, and play together with it. See if you can keep up with the beats. Keep up with the the accurate rhythms of the song. Don't drag out sections un- unnecessarily. And I think you're on okay. to playing something really awesome. Okay. Yay! I can do that. Well done. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah. Just as a as a side note, my uh, my dad. Was a great pianist. Was a wonderful pianist. I guess uh, I didn't get. A, I didn't get a chance to know him. He died when I was very young. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. So I never had a chance to really uh, meet him either because he oh. died when I was 13. Oh. And I was adopted when I was uh, three years old. Oh my! So, but from my mom, he was a wonderful pianist, and he played by ear. Wow! He played wow. everything by ear. So I really want to honor him too. Wow! In terms of. If it's in him, it's in me as well. It is. So, so that's another another goal that I have as well. That is so good. That's that's awesome. But before we go, is there anything else yes. I can help you with? No, uh, I'm I'm doing fine. I just wanted to to meet you and find out where I knew I kind of needed some help with rhythm. Yeah. And with my left hand. Yeah. And, and yeah. so you just. Kind of told me what I kind of knew. <laughs> Good, but I guess I just you just needed to like hear the confirmation, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, now, ma'am. would it help if just to finish off, I play you a small segment of how I would do it for uh, "What a Beautiful Name" um, in an instrumental version? Yes, ma'am. Cool. That's yeah. Fine. Let me try that right now, and then maybe I might even just do a video about it, like a full-on video with from beginning to the end, and see if that could help you, like, just glean something of it. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can come up with.
that's just kind of like a random jam and tell me if there's anything that you want me you have any questions from how i was playing or maybe what are your thoughts no that was you almost had me crying uh <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> okay i hope it was a good kind of cry <laughs> it was it was a good cry <laughs> Awesome. No, it's, it's exactly no. I just it's something to shoot for, something that I, I need to. I, I understand it, yep. but I just have to put it to work. Yeah. And, so, so in my uh, brain, so, th there is an internal uh, metronome going on. It's like a one, two, three, four, and and that's at the put at the back of my brain. And my, my job is to keep up with it, and I'm, I must make sure I don't lag behind or go ahead of. I'm always on time with it, so. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da. You know what might help is maybe have you tried to sing the song and clap to the beat like just go. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Have you ever tried that before? No, I can I can certainly do that. Yeah, that's that's not a problem. I used to sing. So. Cool. I mean, I'm sure you come from a really musical culture and background, and so if you yes. can just try to you know whether it's clapping or tapping or tapping your feet. Um, just making sure that you are feeling that pulse and then mm -hmm. and yeah when you're playing have that pulse going so that you're always keeping up with it yes okay whoa awesome. another piece of homework to do so yes <laughs> uh, but this, this is not like you don't think it think of it as homework think of it as it's it's something you do all the time like as long as you're playing music as long as you're singing music you are always having this backbone of having a pulse going and you can hear it in your head and you're keeping in time with it okay okay awesome. that that's 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 a that's a that's good i'm glad you've given me these these tips and i'll certainly will start to work on that song yeah this is uh, awesome wow yeah i really appreciate your your heart and what caught me was your heart and really not your music but it was your heart wow that uh, that captured me your music is beautiful but your heart was even more to me oh my gosh. so that's why I, I joined, uh, and so I'm, I'm enjoying it. I really am. That, that's amazing, David. Um, yep. How how did you first get to know of the Inspired Keyboard Keyboardist YouTube channel? Well, actually, <laughs> uh, Sandra, this is I'm, I'm going to make this real short. Sure. Short sure. version. Uh, I've had music in my background for years: classical yep. guitar, yep. piano, all yep. all self-taught. I did go to the conservatory for a while, but because of my job and the hours I had to work, I really couldn't sustain it. Wow. Uh, wow. Voice training, had that. Uh, but my job just wouldn't, I couldn't do it because I was always called out or, you know, around a lot of noise. And when I got, for instance, if I was around a lot of noisy things, I had to raise my voice. When I went to voice lessons, my voice teacher was to me and says, you're tired, you go home. Wow. <laughs> you know, so, uh, you. so anyway, so my, my job kind of got in the way of a lot of my musical uh Desires. Anyway, okay. so to make a long story short, uh, I was looking to go to uh, 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 music uh, training down the street here, five minutes from me, and uh, I went in and saw the Hannon book and talked to him about uh, taking lessons. And I just and, and God said, just hold hold your horses here. So I bought the Hannon book and came home. Then I got online. I was kind of looking for somebody, and I run across your video. And it kind of ministered to my heart. And, and I said, well, why should I go down there when I know they're not really spirit filled, where I can have somebody who's really spirit filled and has my heart. And that's why I'm here. Wow. Uh, because what you say captured my heart, how you played captured my heart and it ministered to everything I felt about music in my heart. Because I want people to feel the same way when I play about you know, how it makes them feel and how it makes them feel about God. Wow. And how, wow. so that's, yeah, that's how I feel about music. Cool. You know, just not playing the music. It's just how you how you make people feel when you play the music. Absolutely. Absolutely. Which video so, did you find from my channel? Which video? Yeah, that you first found me. Uh, it was, it was just a video about, uh, and I can't remember which one it was. Well, it was it's just one about learning how to be a better better keyboardist. Your chord, I think, it was your chords, uh, your voicings of the of the chords, and I just wow. found that just so wow. fascinating. And and how you explained it uh, was really it, it touched my heart. It was kind of easy to learn. Wow. And wow. Uh, so that's kind of what grabbed me first. Wow. And and then wow. uh, I came back again, and you said more, and I got more excited about it. And I really wasn't going to join. 
you know, I really wasn't going to do it. And until you sent me an email and said, David, you need to join. So, <laughs> but, but now that you've joined, do you feel like it helped you? Oh, absolutely. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Even, yes, it's helped me quite a lot. And I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning quite a lot, you know, and uh, I've got, a, I've got like you have the music theory books. I've got music theory books that I've had that I've written stuff in. Oh and I've got to go back. Oh it's like, wow, I did that back then. It's amazing. That is amazing. Yes. You are so inspiring. David, thank you yep. so much for your time. You're welcome. Now, this is just the beginning, right? <laughs> um, yes. You've got homework, yes. so I would like to hear your homework. <laughs> when you oh, are, I know that. Yeah, when you've got my, time to practice. <laughs> I know that. My, uh, my wife my wife told me, it says, now, you know she's going to give you homework. <laughs> <laughs> she is good. <laughs> um, so, you know what? I'm not going to put pressure on when you got to submit your homework, but as soon as you have some time, uh, record yourself. I'm playing uh, What a Beautiful Name. Maybe you could play it with the recording on the background. I don't care. Maybe okay. it's with a okay. microphone. Or maybe with nothing. And then I just want to hear that you are able to keep up with the rhythm, keep up with okay. how the song actually unfolds. And to me, that would be that would make my day. Okay. Okay. Awesome. That sounds, awesome. That sounds good to me. So I, I want to be accountable to somebody. I think it's you. So. And the rest of the academy, because you do realize you've set, you've started the ball rolling with the sharing your practice plan thing. So you're doing an awesome <laughs> thing there. All right. Aww, thanks so much, right, David. Sandra. You're welcome. Thank Good you. talking to you. Say hello to everybody, your husband, and kiss your child for me and all that stuff. Sounds great. I will. And can't wait to speak with you soon. All right. God bless. Thank you. God bless, David. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned a lot about worship keys. If you like this video, do hit the like button to help with the rankings of this video. Do also hit the subscribe and the notification bell buttons so that you get notified when I post a new video or when I go on YouTube Live. If you like my work, you can also support me on patreon.com slash inspiredkeys for as low as $1 per video. By supporting me on Patreon, you also get early access to my videos and one-to-one -one worship keys lessons with me. Now, if you have any questions based on what happened in this video, or maybe you have a question that you've been wanting to ask, maybe you want to learn how to play worship keys in a similar style as in this video, then the Inspired Keys Academy is for you. With over 30 training courses on dozens of worship keys topics, ear training exercises, active members-only discussions, the chance to get feedback for your playing, and live member calls with me every single month, the Inspire Keys Academy is your opportunity to get the help and support that you need to make your keyboard playing goals a reality. The best part is that you can get started today for just $1. So just go on to inspirekeys.com slash join and use discount code dollar trial at checkout and you can get full unlimited access to everything inside the Inspire Keys Academy for just $1 for two weeks. I'll see you inside the Academy.